Hello everyone, welcome to Success Show Cent Percent. Today's video is about settlement pattern as well as drainage pattern. At the same time, we will be discussing about the question and answers related to it. So stay tuned till the end of the video. Let us start. Settlement pattern and different patterns of settlement. What is settlement? Settlement means a cluster of inhabited houses that may be rural or in urban areas. The first type of pattern we'll discuss is nucleated or clustered pattern. In this, houses are very close to each other and are constructed in a compact manner. Source of water, need of defense, collective comforts and privileges have been basic reason for the growth of nucleated settlement. The second type of pattern is dispersed or scattered settlement. Scattered settlements are found in areas of sparse population or in sheltered valleys or at foothills. Here buildings are far away from each other. They are almost isolated. They are large farmhouses. Next is linear or ribbon pattern. When houses or buildings are constructed along the road or canal or a river or a railway line, the pattern of settlement emerged is linear pattern. Fourth is radial pattern. In this pattern, buildings or houses spread out from a central point, generally a water body or it may be a temple or a palace or a road junction and then it spreads out in all direction. So that is radial pattern. Fifth is rectangular pattern. Where two or more main roads cross each other, houses built accordingly give a rectangular pattern. Now let us discuss the settlement pattern of sheet number 45D by 10 through question and answers. Here we will see different two different types of settlement. So in the north part you can see a Koli village which is having linear pattern. Then coming down towards west and southwest we see Bhadli village which is having a compact settlement. The grid reference of this topo map is Eastings is 85 to 93, Northings 90 to 99. So let's start with the question and answers. What is the settlement pattern of village Akoli? It's linear because houses are along the car track on both the sides. Which type of settlement is present in north of Bhadli village? It is compact because the houses are very close to each other. So you can see here the houses are very close to each other. So this is compact and in Jat it's one house is behind another and they are on both sides of the car track. So this is linear type of settlement. Third is what is the settlement pattern of the largest village shown in the map extract supplied to you. You can see in the south it's Jagol village. This is the largest village in the map extract. So the answer which you will write will be the settlement in the western part sorry Jagal village in grid square 8590 has the largest settlement. Question 4. How are settlement in the western part different from the settlement in the eastern part of the map? Give two reasons to support your answer. So you can see 88 Eastings along this line, we can divide it into Eastern part and Western part. So the Western part is having compact. The villages or the settlement here are almost compact. Means they are very close to each other. But in the Eastern sides, they are small villages. Small villages are present and they are very close to the forest area. So you can write your answer as the settlement in the western part are compact and large whereas the settlement in the eastern part are not compact and are small. Secondly, the settlement in the western part are close to river 
but the settlement in the eastern part are close to the forest that is open mixed jungle you can see in the eastern part fifth question is what is the general pattern of human habitation that is settlement in the map extract state a common feature in all the settlement the pattern is compact a common feature in all the settlement is that almost all the settlement have grown near car track to have mobility to different areas or to have a good transport moving on to the next segment is drainage a drainage system refers to the origin and the development of stream through time while drainage pattern means spatial arrangement and form of streams here we will see five different types of drainage pattern the first one is trellis pattern or rectangular pattern in this pattern the tributaries can be seen meeting the main stream at right angle you can see here the small streams or the tributaries which join the main river or the main stream they are in a straight line and they make 90 degree so this type of pattern is called as trellis pattern second pattern is dendritic pattern in this pattern the tributaries come from all direction to meet the river like the branches of a tree the small stream meet the larger stream and the larger stream meet still larger streams and in the end meet the main river and they flow towards the slope of the land third is parallel drainage pattern parallel drainage pattern comprises numerous rivers which are parallel to each other and follow the regional slope fourth is radial pattern radial drainage pattern also known as centrifugal pattern is formed by the streams which diverge from the central higher point in all direction that means you can see the central part is having a higher height greater height and as the streams flow away from it the slope is towards all direction so the streams are fall flowing in all direction so this kind of pattern is called as radial pattern fifth is disappearing drainage pattern from the name itself we can understand that after moving few kilometers the river disappears because of the porous soil so disappearing drainage pattern in this drainage system the streams and tributaries before reaching the main river disappear into the soil of porous nature you can see in the picture the streams they are not meeting the main stream or the main river they disappear here dotted lines show that they disappear because the soil is porous in nature means it absorbs water and the water also in these rivers are less now let us take example of topographical map sheet number 45d by 7 the grid references easting says 82 to 91 and northing says 90 to 99 before starting with the question answer there are two important things about river first direction of the flow of the river and second nature of the river here you can see an arrow marked in the river channel this shows the direction of flow of the river the river is flowing from north east to south west then you can see a blue line in the river channel this blue line indicates that this is a perennial river which means that it has water throughout the year the first question is what is drainage pattern a drainage pattern means spatial arrangement and form of drainage system in terms of geometrical shapes example trellis pattern dendritic pattern parallel pattern and radial pattern what type of river is shown in the map justify your answer the river shown in the map is perennial this river has a blue line running in its channel it proves that it is a perennial river you can see the blue line marked over here in the river bed this is this shows that it is a perennial river which means it has water in it throughout the year 
क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री इन विच डायरेक्शन इज सिपो रिवर फ्लोइंग गिव रीजन टू सपोर्ट योर आंसर सिपो रिवर इज फ्लोइंग इन साउथ वेस्ट डायरेक्शन दिस इज अ नैरो मार्क देर इज अ नैरो मैक इन द रिवर शोइंग इट्स डायरेक्शन बिसाइड्स दिस द कॉन्टूर हाइट्स डिक्रीजेस फ्रॉम नॉर्थ ईस्ट टू साउथ वेस्ट अलॉन्ग द रिवर बैंक विच विलेज आर प्रेजेंट ऑन द राइट बैंक ऑफ सिपो रिवर Sipu River has dendritic pattern because small streams like Hanwa Nala and others join Sipu River. Village Jat and Rampura lies on its right bank. You can see here Village Jat and Rampura. They are present on the right bank of the river. Fifth question is what is the drainage pattern of Sipu River? Give a reason. Sipu River has dendritic pattern because small streams like Hanwa Nala and others join the Sipu River. Do watch my video on topo sheet to have a better understanding. The link is given in the description box.